Uh, now I want to show you how you can expand upon uh, what you have already to make it sound a little bit more full of sound. So if we just take a listen uh, to this piano track, you're going to hear my chord progression. So that's great. So what I want to do is expand a little bit just on what I have as far as the music is concerned. So I want to make this sound a little bit more full. Pianists don't just use one hand. If you'll notice, this was played with kind of one hand. These are what we call root position triads. We had talked about them. Pianists often play with two hands. So I'm going to close this up and I'll show you a really fast way to make this sound like a pianist is playing. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the little three dots here. See those three dots? I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to duplicate the track. It's going to give me exactly what I had recorded, a duplicate track and the information here. I'm going to double click on this here and I'm in the piano roll. That's how I like to view the edit. And I'm going to rubber band select. What is rubber band selecting? You click outside and hold and you see this little box that's forming. It's kind of a sorry, square rubber band. And so I'm going to rubber band select so that everything is selected. So now everything's selected and what I'm going to do is drag this down. See this is C2? I could drag it down to C1 if I wanted to. Pretty low, right? Now, I'm going to play both these tracks together. And they're kind of loud, so I'm going to lower them a little bit. And I want you to hear what it sounds like, both the tracks together. So I'm going to have the right hand. Let's just um, let me close this out. So here's the purple one, uh, just the right hand, so you could see it and hear it. Okay, that's all you need of that. Take a listen now. I'm going to go to the next one which is now going to be our left hand. I'm going to solo that, keep that, and here we go. This is now that blue track. It's really low. But I want you to listen very carefully. When we get very low, and it's going to be better if you listen on yours, if you have headphones for your computer, make sure you're listening with headphones or earbuds. That's good. So you get this weird kind of wobbly sound. It's hard to tell. That's because in the very low end, these notes are way too close together. It's different when things are higher. I don't want to go into the physics of it all. It has to do with the size of the actual wave. And it's like a wave in the ocean. They kind of bump into each other. This is called phasing. And it gets really weird. The best solution for this to make this sound more clear is to get rid of the middle note. So the distance from here to here, remember from C to G, is C is one, two, three, four. It's a fifth. And we can have this fifth, so we're going to get rid of this third in the middle. And we don't really need it for our chord. Why? Because we have it playing in the other hands. This is C2. If I come to the blue, it is C1 and G1. So let's take a listen now to both of these. Let's hear the C1 by itself, actually. Let's hear the blue, the bass, without the third. Ah. Right? Now I'm going to put that third back in so you can hear what it sounds like. Let's try that again. Listen to this with the third. Now without. It's much more clear. That's it. Let's hear both of them together. Nice. So now all of a sudden, instead of just having our piano, one hand, we now have this, the piano with much more full. Great. Last thing that I'd like you to try to do, please. Remember, it's left and right hand. If you're sitting at the piano, everything doesn't always come right up the middle. This is called panning. We talked about panning. In Soundtrap, the only way to change the panning is to use automation. So I'm going to take this little right hand stuff and I'm going to move it up a little bit. Just a little. It doesn't have to be all the way. That's called hard panning. This is the middle, I'll move it up. And guess what I'm going to do to what is the left hand? You guessed, I'm going to pan it and move it a little bit down. Just a little bit. Let's see what happens. Now, you'll have a little in the left and a little in the right ear. And it's going to sound even more clear to you. So that's how we can create a left hand and a right hand in the piano parts for uh, your piece in Soundtrap.